So before I watch Casablanca, I read many good reviews about the movie. Some even describe it as a masterpiece. But honestly, after watching the movie, that was not my exact opinion about it. Let me explain. Casablanca is a movie premiered in 1942. It's a war, drama, and romance movie. The movie takes a place in Casablanca, a city in Morocco and part of the French protectorate in Morocco at that time, during World War II, after the German occupation of France. The movie talks about an American cafe owner who at one day meets his old lover with her husband who came to Casablanca to obtain exit visas so they can run away from Nazis to America. Although being romantic, the romance in this movie was shallow and superficial. So we see Elsa who fell in love with Rick after she found out that her husband was killed trying to escape concentration camp. Neither Rick nor Elsa knew anything about each other, yet they fell in love. On the day both of them planned to leave Paris due to the arrival of the German troops, Elsa finds out that her husband was alive so she dumps Rick, sending him only a message telling him to leave without her. When both of them meet after a long time, we find out that Elsa still has a feeling for Rick and is ready to cheat on her brave husband who never gave up on her and risked his life for her many times only to stay with the cold-hearted, cynical Rick. And by the end of the movie, Rick managed to convince Elsa to leave with her husband despite her earlier statement that she only loves Rick and she won't leave him again. I mean like, bravo, love is either like this or it's nothing at all. He's looking at you, kid. Most of the characters in the movie are without a background story, and the movie doesn't provide answers for many questions it raises, like why was Rick there, or why couldn't he return back to America. And the movie was a little bit fast-paced, so it didn't give the viewer enough time to get attached to any of the characters, and despite that, I remember reaching half the movie, and I still don't know what does the movie exactly want, or talks about. I mean don't get me wrong, the movie is one of the greatest propaganda movies and I think that the movie is the product of its time, because it came at a crucial time during World War II, promoting for the Casablanca conference that took place in January 1943, two months after the premiere date of this movie. Are you one of those people who cannot imagine the Germans and their beloved Paris? Not particularly my beloved Paris. Can you imagine us in London? When you get there, ask me. <laughs> Diplomatist. How about New York? Well, there are certain sections of New York, Major, that I wouldn't advise you to try to invade. Uh-huh. Other than being romantic, the movie discussed important subjects during World War II. So Casablanca City was a center for refugees who fled from the German occupation of their countries, hoping to get from there to Lisbon and then to America, yet all of you were able to do so. The movie also talked about the people's struggle for their freedom and their unwillingness to become slaves to the occupation over their countries. One of my favorite scenes of the movie was a scene in which a group of German soldiers came into Rick's cafe and are drunkenly singing the German national anthem at the top of their voice. Victor Laszlo, a leader of the French resistance, couldn't stand this act and while the rest of the club stares appalled at the Germans, Laszlo orders the band to play the French national anthem. With an order from Rick, the band begin playing with Victor singing at the top of his voice. This in turn inspires the whole club to begin singing and the Germans are forced to surrender and sit down at their table, humbled by the crowd's dedication. Generally, the movie was an okay movie, and my final rating for it is 6 out of 10. Thank you for watching this video, tell me in the comments what do you think about the movie and your rating for it. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.